Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Medita, and I'm here with Michaela. And today, we're picking up Clara from the train station, and then we're gonna go to Barnes and Nobles, and we're gonna eat lunch, and it's gonna be a great day, and we're gonna get lots of books. I haven't been to the Barnes and Nobles in so Years. long. It's been a while. She's basically a newbie. I've only ever be been great. to Hungdube. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna meet Clara. For the first time, I'm gonna meet her. You've already met her. And I'm very excited. I'm gonna vlog it all for all of you. So yeah. Okay, we're almost here. We're gonna see her any second. We're getting called. Hello. I'm parked in an illegal parking zone. So that's them meeting. How cute. Oh my God, they're so fun. Besties for the resties. Maddie's a giant compared to us. I have a Jeep. How cute is that? People in the wild tanking gas. You know how people how people say only men can tank gas? Yeah. Look at Michaela and Clara. Rogers Garden! Oh, it's so gorgeous, bro. And it's just outside. I'm walking behind you. Keep walking. I'm filming from up top so I look even taller. I'm a home decor girly. Look, there's bugs, everyone. Monarch butterflies. What? There's a book wall? There's a book. We're going there right now. Don't even move, everyone. That is so oh, pretty. Okay, Michaela. Yeah, we more time Yeah. Let's go eat. I'm kind of hungry. Papillon. Schmetterling. There's a succulent wall. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty. I like it. The food in this restaurant was so freaking good. I don't think anyone understands. I was literally godlike. I went to heaven for a second. My mouth was frothing. I was turning into a werewolf. There was like, I was not doing well. It was just so freaking good. The pizza. Mm, there were apple slices on there with balsamic vinegar. It was so good. And the carrot fries and the cauliflower steak. Best thing ever. It was so tangy. And I don't even know how to explain it. Anyways, look at the beautiful view. Like a jungle. They're so pretty. And it's gonna die anyways. Yeah, I just want one rose, like a cut off rose, like in the book Haunting Adeline. Like I just want one rose. We just left Roger's Garden, and it was very pretty, and the food was very good. What do you rate the food, everyone? Eight out of ten. Clara. Eight out of ten. I'm also gonna say eight out of ten now because I feel left out if I don't. Now that we're done with the food, though, we are going to Barnes and Nobles. Point in Noble, yay! No bookstore in Germany compares to Barnes and Nobles. It's so big. If you know Hundobel or Talia or Talia, however you call it, th it's tiny. It's like a section of how big Barnes and Nobles is. There was everything, literally everything, but it was so expensive. I did fully honestly not expect the books to cost like $20. I thought they were going to be like $10. Uh, so I was a bit flabbergasted at the price, but it was still so beautiful. It was two stories. It was just, there were so many books. I was literally going to cry. I was like, how can I not buy like every book in the store? I was going to go broke. I'm getting this. I know I am. I love the cover so much. Are you getting this? I approve of this message. Oh my god. Dude, look, it's all three books in one. Wait. And it's just, just thicky, thicky oh, Mickey. Um. I know, right? See, like I want these, but there's the sticker. But there's the truly devious book. Oh. I want this. I'm so getting this. Goodbye. That's what I'm gonna show you. Oh, <gasps> I'm getting that. No. I'm so Wait, getting this. Wait, this is damaged. Get another one. Oh, I'm getting this. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. That is so pretty. We're getting these too. So now we have six books already. We love spending money. Let's go. Oh, shut up me. Have you seen this? Yeah, it looks so it's pretty. Like $30. It's not so pretty anymore. 
technically I'm not even buying any books because only three of them are new and everything else is just like another copy. I want a thriller. I shouldn't be getting any more books. Come all the way, Stan. Now imagine me sitting here on the Barnes & Noble's floor with my boyfriend reading books. Wow, I want that to happen. I know I'm doing this with Michaela and Clara, but like, do I want a boyfriend to do this with me? Yeah. Would I choose that? Probably. I'm sorry. I just, I just imagine, imagine you reading together for hours on the books. Oh, cool. I'm literally simping over a situation. Clara. Oh my God. That's my favorite book ever. Ew. Get the hitting out of here. Oh <laughs> just kidding. He's a pompous. Oh pompous. 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 <laughs> never read out loud again. Oh my God. Things we never got over. Yeah. I love this bookstore so much. You can even sit on the floor. It's not full. It's so big. Oh my god. What's the Barnes and Noble? Yeah. Dude, who can do it? It's tiny. <laughs> Are you reading the Kindle? <laughs> <laughs> I can't focus right now. Ooh. Okay, wait. If I'm going to multiple ones and I won't get all the books, I'm, I'm getting now. Because that's like kind of embarrassing. Okay, which of these do I think I could like lead away to get somewhere else? Should I get this? So pretty, why? Oh, I, I was literally looking at that. We're getting these. I don't even care. Evermore? Taylor Swift? Even Barnes and Noble's was a success. As a reader, you know one bookstore isn't enough. No, no, no. You go to every single one because you have to get the best books. So we are round two, going to the second Barnes & Nobles. Thank you for showing us Michaela the way. Pinkity Drinkity by Clara. They spell your name correctly. They did. They did. They'll spell my name wrong. I already know. Matita. Matita. Like, they'll spell Matilda or they call me Madeline or Melissa. Barnes & Nobles, let's go. This one is so big. It's so big. Oh my god, we're gonna choose out a book for you, right? And oh my gosh, this. yes. We're in the second Barnes and Noble today. And what we're gonna be doing is I'm not allowed to choose any of the books. Just Michaela and Clara are gonna choose the books that I have to buy. And you can just choose one, two, just choose how many. Okay. okay. And then like okay. if it's too much, I'll be like, you have this to just one away. Yeah. Yeah. But like choose however many you want to. Am I gonna make her read Powerless by Elsie Silver? Oh my god! I'm excited. And while they're doing that, I'm just looking at beautiful books. <gasps> no, because like I, I want to read that too. Really good things about it, and it's the exclusive edition. I read oh. for some reason. I read uh, Donald Trump. I don't know how the frick I got from this to Donald Trump. Don't ask me. It says Roll Darl. That should not be a book talk book. Dang, I have not read that either. Why is Lolita up there? What is this table? This table makes no sense. Don't, Michaela. Michaela. It's just so. Oh my gosh. I mean, it is tempting. I get it. I get it though. Wait, maybe I'm gonna do one good, one bad. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I can look at the the scenes. Which one was the one that you don't have? Oh, we're looking at that one. We're gonna see if there's some stuff in that inside there. There is. No. Oh, oh, I, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm not on that one. Oh my god. Oh my god, look how can 69, okay. Of course, of course. Because of course it's stuff like this. Aww. It's like it's weird, isn't it? I wish they would pick some good ones. Are you part of it? No, I know, but I meant I was like asking you if you're part that of it. That one is pretty. No. Oh, that looks so cool. Don't. No, you see. Oh my god. So you know how they were like, there was this trend and people were like, oh, I don't know how people could eat it. Mm -hmm. After after seeing a Tide Pod in real life, I was like, wait, this kind of looks good. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's squishy. It's like... Whenever I go to a bookstore, I have to check that they have the Shadow Me series because what is a bookstore without the Shadow Me series? You know, like they have to have my mother at the bookstore and this is my mother. Yeah, anyways, thank you so much for that little dancing session. I know this is going to make you cry. No, wait, crying is HMR. Totally... I've cried everything, so you do cry at everything. So, Horror! Yeah. Maddie, if you're watching this, I actually hate you. Loki. Loki. I'm not allowed to know which books they have for me. It's kind of, it's kind of Wait, sad. Let's show the camera. So Maddie already knows about this one, but it's crying in H mark. That's the good one. This is a good one. And then, what is it? Forever and Never by yeah. Lucy Score. I know she hates um, things we never got over in the first. And then this is another good one. I'm so excited. 
Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm doing a voiceover because I talk too quietly in Barnes & Noble. Anyways, I picked Priest by Sierra Simone because I know some people love it. Maddie's not going to. She is not a smut girly. And then I picked Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton because I know she's not going to like it. So, yeah, I'm a bad friend. Sad reality. Uh, there's no Starbucks. Sorry, babe. Uh, yeah. How could I miss a Starbucks? <laughs> Are we really asking that question? How could you miss a Starbucks? Ooh. Back in Tarzan. I'm just here to get Starbucks. What is there someone there you know? Yes. Oh my god, there's someone she knows. T. Who do you know? Who do you know? Who is it? What is it? An old school person? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, let's well, run and hide. Well, we were gonna go without you. I don't know who we are. Book haul. Okay. So what time is it? It's 10.55 and we're- Oh my god, we're- We wanted to go to bed an hour ago. Because we are going to San Diego tomorrow. <gasps> Yay! And Clara's not reacting. Anyway, so we're gonna give you a book haul now. My lips are so dry, it hurts. People are kissing my lips too much, that's why it hurts. That's why it's dry. Mm -hmm. Today I bought 12 books. This is now- I have now bought already a total of 15 books because I bought three yesterday. Mm -hmm. So first I got finally the Inheritance Games, the American cover because I have the ugly British cover, okay? I'm sorry. And then obviously I have to get the Hawthorne Legacy also Th in the cute cover. That's very valid purchase. Yeah, it's a valid purchase. Mm -hmm. this, this I need it, you know? <laughs> the UK cover I have These are not even a real purchase. Like, I already own these. Yeah, they don't count. They yeah, don't like, count. they don't count. So then I bought purchase. another book only for the cover, yeah. and that is Once Upon a Broken Heart. I got inspired. Because I bought it. Yeah. And I bought it. Anyways, I've already read this, 5 out of 5 stars, great book, and yeah, I saw the pink cover yesterday arrive for Michaela, and I was like, I'm gonna get this too. So this is also a book I technically didn't buy and already own. Now the last book I technically didn't buy and already own is The Invisible Life Edibu, and I'm pretty sure this is the French cover, just translated into English now, because, or like, with the English, because the French cover looks like this, and it's so pretty. So we have the exclusive Barnes Nobles Ed edition mm -hmm. now. I want to look at it. And it's deckled edges. In stickled edges. I love deckled edges. I love deckled edges. Deckled edges. Then I got this book called We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. She wrote those, uh, The Haunting of like Haunting Hill House, House, which yeah. I love on Netflix. Yeah. And there's also books. Yeah. And the cover is just so cool. I love the gothic cover. Also it's deckled cool. edges. It also says here, I could have been born a werewolf because the two little fingers on both my hands are the same length, but I have had to be content with what I had. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to be scared. Then I got Miss Rule, which is a sequel to Malice. I read Malice in my 24-hour readathon. Four stars. So, how to get it? Four stars for Maddie is like a five star yeah. with the average reader. And it's a lavender cover. It's really pretty. Like, lavender. I want to apologize for my family because they're playing a game, so they're kind of loud. It's okay. I like it. It's funny. We finally got better than movies. I don't even know what this is about, fully, honestly. I have zero idea. I think it's my school. Childhood Friends It's so cute. Oh, is oh, it's it? Childhood Friends with Lovers. They Isn't were, it big dating? Well, I'm very excited for this because, like, a lot of people really love this book, so I, I hope we will like it. Big Dating for. is undefeated. Very excited for this. And now, here are the books that I didn't choose myself. <laughs> Yay! So we have... Should we do the good books first? Yeah. yeah. Let's explain. We yes. have Crying in H Mark. Um, this book is supposed to make me cry. So it's basically about a woman who lost her mom. And she was in H Mart, and she started breaking down crying because she started to miss her mom. I read a little bit of it and I was like, I can't read this anymore right now. Like, I literally love my mom so There's much. There's photographs in here no, too. No, I would not be able to read. I, I have the signed one. I would not be able to read that. Oh, nice. yeah. I'm very excited for you to read this. So. Like, I know she's going to cry, so I picked it for her. <laughs> I cry very easily. Then the next good book we have here is We Have Love from A to Z. Do you remember why you bought this for me? Yes. Explain. Oh, um, <laughs> I... So for Maddie's YouTube video, I had to pick a good book, and I've heard nothing but good things about Love from ABC, and I was struggling finding a book that I read that she hadn't read that she didn't already own, and she doesn't own that one, so that would that's be why I picked that book, because she doesn't own it. I've never read it, but I've only heard amazing things, so mm -hmm. that's my good book for her. This is called Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. The main character guy is also named Aaron, Ooh. and he's also blonde, Ooh. Mm -hmm. and it's fantasy. I know nothing about this book, but it it, there is a love triangle. It is, I believe it's either a duology or a series. I'm not exactly sure, but now we get to the bad books. So this is Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton. <laughs> Explain why you got it. Maddie isn't going to like it because she's not a smut girly. And this guy, they shoves her head in the ocean with a ocean full of sharks. <laughs> they do it. <laughs> I saw I saw the artwork. It was, it was pretty gnarly. 
There's artwork. There's artwork. It was on Twitter. Well, we're gonna be looking at that or yeah let me let me try finding it anyways no. there is this long list for the trigger warnings in here and let me just say up. it's way too much <laughs> so excited for her reactions <laughs> i just know i'm gonna get a facetime call i can't i can't believe you made me eat this. and then we got forever never by lucy score mm -hmm. if you have seen her reading blog of things we never got over you know why clara chose this yeah this is why i chose it because i know she doesn't like lucy score and i didn't want to get the basic sequel and i didn't want to get by a thread so i was like hmm let's get the book that like almost no one talks about so this is why i chose it too because i was like oh my god michaela read the bag remy doesn't need broody bearded brick writing to her rescue broody bearded brick. what's up with the bees but yeah. broody and bearded that's her thing not when it will put them both in danger, costing them much more than their hearts. So mm. clearly she's gonna love it. <gasps> you don't fall for your brother's high school sweetheart, no. your daughter's, your boss's daughter, or your ex-wife's best friend. <gasps> the what order. the freak? Yeah, isn't that crazy? But anyways, those are all the books I got. Also, P.S. I got nothing because nothing interested me. But we're gonna go to a bookstores in San Diego, and I'm hoping there's like a book that I can get there because I don't want to. You just have to buy one list. there. I just I need at least one. I got four books. I got the third book in a Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. Now I can officially start it because I was on a book ban. I got these infinite threads. Um, I'm gonna get this signed at the end of the month. And then um, I got Six of Crows. I'm becoming a fantasy girly. And then I got the second book, um, It's Not Summer Without You from the, Inst oh my the Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy because I like the TV show covers. I've already read these. I'll probably never reread them again. It's filling the void of Alone With You in the Ether. Oh, well, speaking of Alone With You in the Ether, her and I traded because Maddie wanted to pay me and it just didn't feel right taking money from her so she gave me these instead and like i can get them signed by my queen by mother taramathi and you, it's all three so and it's yeah. yeah thank you medita you're welcome this was my second day now only oh my gosh my second day only in the u.s seeing you was a lot of fun for the first time mm -hmm. it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like we've only met for the first time i feel mm -hmm. like anyways yeah so this is the end of my day vlog i hope you enjoyed it and if you did you can do a thumbs up and give some more for our content you can subscribe um i hope you all have a great day even that time morning whatever time is it in you enjoy yourself go read a book now book recommendations not me first oh oh the do-over. I've got mine. Can I please go say, oh, is that what oh. you <laughs> Say you swear by Megan Brand. Say you swear that's what we're going with? Yeah, go read Malice. I got the sequel today, so I hope you like it. Sapphic, Sleeping Beauty Retelling, yes. Enemies to Lovers. It is great. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy reading. And until next time. Bye. Bye.